Hey everybody, it's Bob from Street Photography Magazine. I've got some big news for you about the magazine. As you can probably tell, it looks a little different this month. And that's because we have actually changed publishing platforms. And the reason we did that is that because we feature photography, uh, we wanted to make sure that we're taking full advantage of the uh, iPad and the iPhone and the way you can view images on it. Uh, for example, this new platform is fully responsive. If you happen to turn it uh, sideways, and so if I rotate it uh, to landscape mode, you see it shifts into landscape mode. Um, and uh, that's really important, particularly for street photography, because a lot of people's images are landscape, or they're better viewed landscape. With this new platform, you'll be able to see that. Now I'm going to rotate it back again. One thing you're probably looking for is this screen, which is the way you used to be able to navigate between issues. Now uh, that's built right into the magazine itself. As you can see, this is the view right now to move between issues. So for example, if I wanted to look at this welcome edition, I just tap that. And when you do that, um, it then becomes the table of contents for the magazine. Now I'm going to tap issues up here in the upper left hand corner and uh, we'll go back to issue three. As you can see here, here is the table of contents for the issue. And if you want to view a particular article, then you just tap it and there you go. If you want to see the menu again, you just slide on the screen from left to right. There it is. So we'll go back to our previous article. And let me show you one thing about the orientation. This image right here is probably better viewed in landscape mode. So I'll just turn the iPad, and there it is. And if I want to go back to portrait mode, I just turn it again, and there it is. Uh, one thing I really like about this new version is that you can control the size of the font. All you have to do is touch the screen, and down in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see a gear icon. So we'll tap that. And all I have to do is touch this big A. And I don't know if you saw it, but you see the uh, font got a little larger. Here, I'll move it down a little bit. Touch it again. So see, increases it for easier reading. Now, if I want it to get smaller, just touch the screen again, the gear icon. And I'll tap this a couple times to make it smaller. You can also adjust the brightness. I don't know if you can see that in the recording. Uh, but it does make it brighter or darker, which comes in real handy if you're in, uh, say, on an airplane or something. So that's all there is to it. As you can see, it's very intuitive, very easy to use. It'll probably take you about 30 seconds to get used to the new format. And as an existing subscriber, if you're having any difficulties receiving content that you've already purchased, please use the contact form. There's a link to it at the bottom of this page and reach out to us and let us know. Uh, we will be in touch with you very quickly to help you resolve any issues that you may have. So I look forward to bringing many new issues to you in the future, and thanks again for being a subscriber.